always looking so glamorous. Thank you. Fresh. Thank you, Ruth. It's always lovely to see you, and I watch you every day when I'm here. Thank you. Yeah, well, we, like, we like to sit here thinking, Joan Collins is watching yeah. you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that that scares me. <laughs> <laughs> that scares well, scares me if you sit there watching me. <laughs> tell me off. Well, I'm usually walking around and doing things. And, well, you never <laughs> stop. You never stop, really, No, do I you? don't. No, if you stop, you die. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> rust. <laughs> I, have a, I have an expression. Rust. If you stop, you rust. Yeah. <laughs> Simple yeah. as that. I like that. And do you, I mean, literally, you're always on the move. Do you exercise? And if you're not working, you're always on the move. You never, do you never have a slobby, slouchy day? Oh, yes. <laughs> on Saturday, I said to Percy, it's enough already with this TV we have. I want a 56-inch TV. So off we went to Peter Jones and we bought it and I spent the rest of Saturday lying in front of it and Sunday morning lying in front watching all these wonderful shows that were on. And do you do, like, no makeup, tracky no bottoms makeup, kind of slobbing? No makeup, lots of chocolates, you, yeah. Oh, I like it. I like it. Yeah. 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 No, but that you spend a lot of time in France. Yes. I mean, I often think, how do you go to the market and sort of, you know, join in with everybody else? What, what is your ploy for disguising yourself just to sort of slob around for the day? I honestly don't uh, slob around when I go out. That's not how I want to appear to myself or, or anything else. I mean, if, when I slob around, um, I mean, over the weekend, I was wearing shorts and a T-shirt and or, you know, a sweater. Nothing special, but going to the market in, uh, in Saint-Tropez is wonderful because they all know me and they're all very nice and I wear my straw hat and my peasant skirt and just go up. But I love my house so much, I like to just stay in. <laughs> you <know? laughs> well, you haven't got time to stay in much because you're doing your one-woman show at the moment, yes. Joan Collins' Unscripted. We like Unscripted. <laughs> Well, the thing that's so different about this show is that it's, it's called Unscripted, and it is. And I have to tell you, I've done two shows. It is so challenging because I am talking for an hour and a half. It's interspersed with scripts, uh, with, with uh, you know, uh, uh, film. shots, film. And um, it's uh, you have to try and be interesting and tell anecdotes, and you don't know what they're going to say. But your life yes. is interesting. Your life is fascinating. Oh, I guess so. Um, and are you literally, <laughs> do, you, do you literally not know what the audience are going to ask you, so they can ask you anything. No, they've got ten different categories that right. they can ask, which is uh, men, Hollywood, uh, health and beauty, family, travelling. Um, I can't remember the others. <laughs> and um, but they always seem to concentrate on men and dynasty. <laughs> because and because yeah. Percy, your husband, is involved this time in the show. Yes, right? he's the MC. He's there uh, with me. Percy. We're both yes. He, yeah, he's, and that. I said that we want to be as good on the stage as you and Eamon are when you're together. Well, arguing. We're arguing. <laughs> yeah. Arguing. <laughs> yes, we do. Yeah. And he calls me Dan Joan, and I call him Dan Husband. <laughs> Because you're with each other an awful lot, aren't you? We're with each other, yeah, 24-7, which is a lot. And do I you bicker say. like Eamon and I? We do. We bicker, yeah. yeah. We bicker, we row. Of course we do. It's like two rats in a cage sometimes, you know. No, not that <laughs> what, what is it about Percy? Because you, you've been quoted as saying, of course, you've been married a few times, but the Percy is <laughs> the yeah. one. Yes. Well, first of all, I think that with maturity comes... Um, uh, intelligence and I think that I was more intelligent about men when I met Percy and I realized that he was you know a very special person he's incredibly kind he's incredibly good he loves my family to bits I mean he loves my daughter he walked Tara down the aisle when oh. they got married when she got married last week oh, I know the, yeah very special. I mean uh, because the, oh there's Tara got married there we are oh. at the end of the exhausted after the end of 12 hours of festivities <laughs> and he's just very uh, special and to be with somebody all the time and they have to be very special you know Sometimes we drive each other crazy, but that's all right. <laughs> that's good. I think yeah. that's good. Shows passion. Quite natural, yeah. <laughs> but I love doing the show, and, you know, I'm doing it tonight in Manchester. Mm. I'm catching a train at... Shortly. <laughs> <laughs> What's interesting is we were talking about Hillary Clinton, I don't know if you, if you heard yes, that I heard. stage, and we were saying, you know, that, that there is this element of the show must go on. When you're in a in a high-powered job or, or you're in the in the business like you are and you've got people who've bought tickets. Have you ever had cases like that when you're not well and you think, I have to just show up? Yeah, I actually did, but I didn't show up because I was so ill. It was when I was doing Panto in Birmingham, which is, as you know, you've done it. I mean, mm. it is so mm. incredibly Tough. exhausting. Twelve performances a week. Each time you change shows, like, uh, change clothes so many times. And I, I went out on Sunday, on my day off, to a charity thing, and I met loads of people who were coughing. And I thought, oh, I said, yeah. I think mm -hmm. I'm, I think 
going to get sick, you know. And I went back and I was sick. And I had to be off. I couldn't move. I had swine flu. Oh, my goodness. Have you ever had That's swine flu? Well, listen, we're very... Don't no. get it, is we're, all I can say. <laughs> we're very I'd glad it some... doesn't happen to you very often. Uh, Jane's <laughs> oh, one-woman <God>. show. <laughs> We get some pretty fabulous guests here on Loose Women. There's plenty more where that came from. Just click here to watch more interviews with a whole range of famous faces. And click here to subscribe. It's free, so you'd be silly not to, really. <laughs>